Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? So this is the newest video for the hashtag movie and stitch. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> Yay, I got it right. Um, the hashtag movie and stitch series that I'm doing, trying to finish, almost finished with, so close to being finished with, um, that was from last year. Yes, from 2021 that um, was started by Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast, um, where the idea was to go through the alphabet watching movies uh, and do a little, do a little review on them, talk about them, whatever, um, and do a project, um, either a project for each movie or one big project with maybe colors inspired from each movie or work on a project while watching all the movies, which is what I did. Um, something to do with the movies. Yes. Okay. So, you know, your girls watching horror movies. You already know that you already know that if you've been around for any amount of time, you already know that. So I've been doing horror movies and I am, I had fallen behind. I was keeping up pretty well at the beginning of the year. And then clearly we're here now because uh, I didn't. I fell behind a week and then a week turned into a couple weeks. And then a couple weeks turned into more than that. And here we are. <laughs> um, I had made like a mad dash at the end of the year. And uh, I think I put out like, I don't know, like six or seven videos where I was like, I'm going to get it all done. I'm going to finish it. But no, I did not. Um, I put a pretty decent dent into my journey, but no, I didn't finish it. Um, I think I was only like halfway through the alphabet at that time. <laughs> it's pretty unrealistic to finish in December, to be honest, while I was like working and doing vlogmas and doing, yeah, no, even with one week's vacation that I think I had, no. Um, so that being said, here we are <laughs> in April going into May of 2022, but we're on V. I'm getting the V movie and presenting the W movie. So almost done. Um, so let's briefly talk about, I always say I'm going to try to make this short, but I think I might actually be able to do it, even though I never do. I think I might actually be able to do it this time, partially because this movie isn't the movie I thought it was. Um, like it is and it isn't. I'll explain in a second. But my my V movie was Vampires Los Muertos. Um, Vampires Los Muertos is my favorite of the John Carpenter vampire movies. Um, I should s disclaimer. I only know of two of them. If there's more than that, I don't think I've seen them. Uh, so of the two. John Carpenter's Vampires and Vampires Los Muertes. This one's my favorite. I'm not saying the other one's bad. I'm saying I like this one better. Um, for those of you that know me, you might know why. But <laughs> but um, I've always liked it better uh, since I've seen it. Um, however, okay, briefly, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's your basic vampire movie. Um, John Bon Jovi... The reason that um, I think teenage Heather, or maybe maybe early twenties Heather, um, first fell in love with this movie to begin with, uh, is the main character in the movie. He's a vampire hunter who goes. Um, he's searching out the priest from the previous movie. Um, spoiler, which you know you're gonna get. Uh, the priest is dead. Um, he has basically like a checklist of all these um, knowledgeable vampire people knowledgeable in lore and or vampire hunters like himself that he's trying to get a gang together um the priest is first on his stop and then he's got these other people that he's trying to round up and lo and behold just like the priest they're all dead right before he gets there um and for whatever reason um he thinks that the head vampire that he's looking for is like connecting to him and finding out who he's trying to get to and getting there first and killing them. So he's like freaked out. He's worried about that. Um, it turns out 
major spoiler for the even for the end of my review, it turns out that the head vampire chick is the client that he's working for. So she already knew the list. So she goes and kills them all. So I don't exactly know. I guess I do know why. I was going to say, I don't get why she'd do that. Like, if you're going to do that, why have him get a team together? Why not just say it's a smaller problem and then ambush him, I guess? But I guess that way you get rid of more of the problem because the vampire hunters would be your problem if you're a vampire. But then if you could go through and just kill all of them, why don't you just go find them and kill them in the first place? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I'm way overthinking it. <laughs> um... So she she ended up actually hiring them to come to this place. And along the way, he finds, he meets a vampire. He finds out people are vampires when he's not, like, sure. Because he has, like, this technology, like, different technologies. And one of them is, like, a radar scope thing that sees body heat. So he can tell when they're too low. And, like, they barely pick up on his, his sensor thing as, as body heat people. And when he was in the diner looking for one of the guys who actually got killed while he was there, um, he had went to the bathroom, and then the vampire came in and killed everybody in the diner except for this girl, who he had already known was... A, like, he realized she was a vampire. He went to the bathroom to, like, calm himself and collect himself, basically, because he was getting ready to kill this vampire girl. And he went out and found everybody dead, and he thought the girl did it, uh, actually. And I think she had taken off... But he found her later, and she explained herself because, of course, she became a character in the movie. Um, she had been turned at a, a different point in time, but she didn't want to be a vampire. So she had found, like, she went to this doctor's clinic, and they actually gave her pills um, to stop the effects of the vampirism. So, like, she was still, like, cold-blooded and all that, but, like, it stopped her cravings, her her um, affinity for sunlight and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it took away the bad parts of vampirism, basically. Um, as long as she took them, she was actually fine. So she was undead, but she wasn't. Um, so she became part of his crew, um, he did find one other vampire hunter, and then he had this priest who, another spoiler for the end of the movie, wasn't a priest. When everybody at the, the first place that he went to was slaughtered, this one guy wasn't, um, because he had started to leave and then came back. And he was actually, uh, he put on the priest robes so that John Bon Jovi would take him with him, but he wasn't a priest. He was just, like, their, um, hired hand, basically, for the monastery. <laughs> um... So, not a priest, but he was posing as a priest. So he has this not priest, this vampire who wasn't really a vamp, who was really a vampire, but wasn't a vampire chick. Um, this actual vampire hunter, and then oh, and then he recruited this kid who was like a sixteen-year-old kid, and um, got a note from his mom to run away with him and vampire hunt. It was actually it was cute, but it um, would not fly, of course, in real life. But it was cute. Um, and they hunt her down, and I mean, long story short, they kill her in a pretty spectacular way. They tied a rope to her, and they pulled her out of this cavern, because they were down in these old ruins of a building, like, castle-y looking thing, and when the crane wasn't pulling her that was on their, like, jeep or whatever, their car, uh... The vampire chick gets into the car and drives it, and it just, like, pulls her out, and, like, this flaming body and, and like, beheaded head partway comes out and just, like, flames everywhere. It was, it was cool. <laughs> I will say. Not, maybe not the, like, um, world's greatest ever effects, but it was still pretty cool. Um, I liked it. <laughs> um, but bear in mind, I do like cheesy old movies, so... Take that as you will. But see, I kept that review to under 10 minutes. The review and introduction, under 10 minutes. So I think that's a pretty good record for me. Um, so that was my V movie. Uh, let me... Oh, ah, trivia. I only found one trivia, so it's still going to be short. Um, well, I found more trivia, but, like, I don't like talking about... There, there's, like, big, long paragraphs of, like, the gun that this person used, and I don't... 
I'm not interested enough to remember a whole paragraph about the gun usage in it. Um, I know briefly one of the guns that John Bon Jovi used was a prop, like very proppy. Like they made the actual gun out of like paper mache stuff or something. But that was not my fact. My my trivia fact was that um, if you know on like John Bon Jovi ish stuff, he's got um, a Superman tattoo on his left bicep. And for this movie, they covered it up with makeup, but not for anything to do with the movie. They did it so that they wouldn't have a copyright like strike on them or whatever, so that they couldn't have a copyright claim against them. <laughs> I found that amusing. But that was really about it for trivia. There wasn't a whole lot out there um, that I thought might be fun enough to mention. Um, that's it for that. Um, so on to my W movie. Oh, one other thing. Sorry. The reason why I didn't, it was the movie I thought it was, but yet it wasn't. I kept confusing it with John Carpenter's Vampires because it's been a while since I've seen either one. And I knew that this one was my favorite of the two. But I also, in my head, knew that there was a... I knew <laughs> that there was a bald one in, in it. But there's not. the. I think it's Billy, but Billy Baldwin or whoever, whichever bald one it is, is in John Carpenter's Vampires. So, like, I'm watching the movie, and I'm watching it, and I'm watching it, and I'm waiting for the bald one to pop up. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, where is... Where's the bald one? And in John Carpenter's Vampires, he... I remember like hating his character. You're not, I don't think you're supposed to hate his character, but I do because I was like, he is so stupid because he was like, ended up being in love with the vampire chick and he stays behind to be, I think he's, he stays behind to be turned and be a vampire with her or something, or at least stay with her. And um, he leaves the main character to go off and vampire hunt on his own because the main character tells him like, I'll, I'll find you. So I think he, he gets turned. So I remember thinking how stupid he was. But in this movie, the the vampire chick who's not, who's like a good vampire, she's got like tinted red hair. So like I, I kept expecting the Baldwin to show up and fall in love with her. <laughs> I was very confused. Like the, I kept looking at the movie, like getting closer and closer to the end. And I was like, okay, so are they going to pick up the Baldwin at some point? Like, where's the Baldwin? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, in my defense, it's been a really long time since I've seen either one of these movies. Just saying. Um, but yeah. So now I'll tell you what my W movie is, and I definitely know that I am not mistaking either one of these. These are like, again, bear in mind that I do like cheesy horror movies. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen this. If you have seen this, let me know in the comments below if you, even if you hated it, that's fine. Just let me know if you've seen it. Because I, the only people that I know who have seen these movies are people that I have forced them upon. <laughs> like, I know my sister, I know Amber has seen these because um, I forced them upon her. I, I think she actually likes them, but only because I made her watch them. Amber has to have sat through these like 20 times because of me. <laughs> And I say these because there are two of them and I fully intend to watch them both, even though I only have to watch one. For my W movie, I'm watching Warlock, which means I'm going to also watch Warlock, the Armageddon. <laughs> I am super in love with Julian Sands. I love, I love, love him. Um, I haven't seen, I don't, I don't know if he does a lot of acting like I think he does Broadway now. So I, I can't say I love him these days because I haven't seen anything from him that I know of lately. Like, he was in Gotham. He was in an episode or two, I think, of Gotham, the TV show. And I think that's the last thing I've seen him in. He was a bad guy. But um, if you haven't seen the Warlock movies, he was also... Um, in a room with a view which is also another old he i mean he's older now so these were him younger so like any movies that i could probably tell you he was in are are older movies but he was in a room with a view he was in boxing helena 
He was in um, Arachnophobia. He was uh, he was the doctor that gets eaten by the by the. Oof, he was him. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of people would know him from that. Arachnophobia was pretty big. Um, he was in one of the versions of Phantom of the Opera, but not the big the biggest version that most people have seen. Um, can't think I know he was in another something big that a lot of people have probably seen but this is like he's always been the warlock to me I think this is the first movie I, I ever saw him in and I have always loved him maybe this is where I started to first love the bad guy to be honest because I'm gonna tell you right now he's not the good guy <laughs> anyway that's my W movie I'm very excited I might watch that tonight <laughs> just because I cannot wait to watch it Okay, so let's talk about my blanket. You know it's a blanket. When I say I'm doing a project for this, it's a blanket. Um, I have finished all the squares. I basically made solid granny squares out of this amazing yarn. Um, it's uh, Kara and Jumbo yarn that I had gotten on clearance at Joann's. And it's nowhere to be found anymore if I ever find it at a garage sale or online at any kind of sale if they ever bring it back if anything if I ever find it I will buy this in hordes because I want I want to make everything from this yarn I love it um it's a variegated obviously because it's Karen Jumbo but it's called copper Do I still have it sitting back? I have the remnants sitting here. Hold on. Plum Copper. It's called Plum Copper. And if I grab it, I'm going to cause an avalanche because I have it sitting underneath my boogie nights that I haven't put away yet. But it's this color. How gorgeous is this? Isn't that pretty? And I made solid granny squares. Um, I bordered them with three different yarns. I bordered them with three different yarns from Joann's and I will show you those because these are about to come out and make an appearance next, the next thing I do during the Warlock movies. Um, I have these Big Twist Classics. Um, this is in the color Violet, which to me is like, like a really witchy purple color. Uh, it's almost like a neon dark purple. I love that. And then the other classic that I have is this orange, which is in the color orange. <laughs> now, both of these Big Twist classics are listed as, I want to say a bulky five. Pretty sure it is. Where are you? Oh my gosh, have I looked past it like eight times or what? Yeah, bulky fives. And there's just a very little bit of like a fuzz to them. I don't know if you can even see it because it's just a little tiny bit. Um, the green that I have is in a discontinued yarn from Joann's. And it was discontinued, I think, to make room for these. Because don't these look similar in like build, right? This is also a bulky five. This is Big Twist Rainbow Classic. And it is in the color lime. But like to me, this is like um like a slimer green. <laughs> like a ghostbustery <laughs> green color. Like I love this. I love it. And it's got just just a had a tad bit more like fuzz to it. Just a tad. But it could be because it's older, too. And I only had one of these from a clearance, so I decided to just group it up with these. And I've bordered all the squares, and well, look, look how much of this I still have. <laughs> so I'm, I'm about to work some more of the border with these next. But, let me set these, well, I guess I can't really. I'm gonna put a picture in, okay? Like, somewhere in here, right now, <laughs> of where this is unfolded, so you guys can see it. But it's, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big bag, or bag. This is a bag, sorry. I am all over the place again. 
Um, it's a pretty big blanket. And um, so I have, what, four more movies to do. And I fully intend to do something to the blanket on all the movies. Um, I am going to do a border with these colors for the next movie, I think. And then I'm going to do more black because the join that I did is the continuous join, which should be linked below. If not, it's linked in a lot of my videos um, because I have a tutorial for it if you're interested. I love the continuous join. I speak about it all the time. So if you've been with me any amount of time, you should know A, my love for it and B, why? Because um, it's basically a flat join that you don't have to sew. Um, so there's no sewing. All you have to do is crochet and there's no ridges. There's like the little ridge from sewing. Like it looks like you whip stitched it and that is it. It is it is pretty much a flat join that you don't have to sit there and sew. I love it. I love it so much. Um, and I figured out a, a join as you go version too. I love it so much. Um, I do also have for upcoming movie watching purposes... I had found these little ghost applique patterns. And so I made some of these. And you can't really, I don't believe, see the sparkle in these, but they are made with this one random skein that I have of Red Heart with Love Metallic. Maybe you can kind of see the sparkle in that. Um, I made the tiny ones and then I made, I switched, I switched hook sizes is all I did. And then I made a slightly bigger pair. And then maybe next week I will put eyes on these finally, but I made an even bigger pair because I doubled the yarn and made the hook size bigger for these guys. So I have like six ghost appliques to sew on. I'm thinking probably where the squares join, like in the joins at, at random. And then um, I freehand made one tombstone that I want to put R.I.P. across. And then, like, I might make another one or, like, um, I might just put this kind of at the bottom with maybe a ghost by it. Um, Damon suggested right in the middle. So if I do that, I might put the ghost, like, right here, maybe. I don't know yet. I'm going to play around with the idea. I'm going to see how it looks trying to put the R.I.P. right here, too, because if it if it looks like garbage, I just won't put it on there. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how it's going. So you'll probably see the W video pretty soon because I'm very excited to be watching the Warlock movies. Um, I do have... See, this is probably going to come out Saturday. Sunday is my anniversary with David. And um, I'm trying to pre-record a bunch of videos this weekend also because Wednesday, I, the 4th, whatever day the 4th is, I think it's Wednesday, is... um. A sad anniversary so I probably won't feel like doing videos this week as much um we'll talk about that later <laughs> um but so happy happy anniversary and sad anniversary in the same same week um but yeah so if you see me a lot right now I can say oh well, yeah I'll in the same clothes and in the same flustered state because like my brain has not been doing well today with words <laughs> I'm doing a lot of videos like all together as, as much as I can so um with that being said <laughs> um I will talk to you very soon in another video <laughs> all right I love you guys and um I will talk to you soon bye guys <laughs>